high, standard seven and standard eight pupils. I welcome you all to our science lesson. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Still pupils, we are in properties of matter. Class seven and eight, this is a revision. Properties of matter today, the subtopic is mixtures. Welcome, have all the learning materials. Take notes where necessary so that by the end of this lesson, you should have regained this something constructive to your studies. Welcome. Pupils, what is a mixture? A mixture is a combination of two or more substances together. Pupils, mixtures can be classified as follows. Solid mixtures such as maize, beans, or sand and the salt. Two, Liquid mixtures like water, milk, petrol, diesel, kerosene, and petrol. Three, gaseous mixtures, for example, combines composition of air in the atmosphere is a mixture of several gases. Four, you can also have solids and liquid mixtures, such as sand and the water or milk and the sugar. Pupils, you want to have a look on dissolving solids in the liquids. Dissolving solids in the liquids. Solids that dissolve in liquids completely are known as solute. Solutes. Examples of solutes are sugar, salt, and the glucose. The liquid in which a solid that the solute dissolves is known as the solvent. Pupils, examples of solvents are water, and the milk. Water is considered as a universal solvent. This is because it is readily available all over the world. Meaning, water is available worldwide. There is no, there is no place pupils you can go and fail to get water. That's why we have said, water is considered as a universal solvent. Pupils, a mixture of a solute and a solvent is known as a solution. I repeat, a mixture of a solute and a solvent is known as a solution. For example, salt plus water, it gives you salt solution. I repeat, salt, salt, which is 
a solute plus water, which is a solvent, it gives you salt solution to glucose, glucose, which is uh, a solute, water, which is uh, a solvent, it gives us glucose solution, which we call a solution. I repeat, salt, which is a solute, plus water, which is a solvent, it gives us salt solution, which is solution. To glucose, which is a solute, plus water, which is a solvent, it gives us glucose solution, which is a solution. Third example, sugar, which is a solute, plus water, which is a solvent, it gives us sugar solution, which we call solution. Pupils, solids that do not dissolve in water are known as insoluble solids. Insoluble solids. I've said solids that do not dissolve in water are known as insoluble solids. Next is examples, examples of insoluble solids are sand, flour, powdered milk, and the sawdust. Pupils, when a substance when a substance dissolves in a liquid completely, the substance is said to be soluble. It is ability to dissolve is called solubility. Soluble solids include sugar, salt, and the glucose. I repeat, when a substance dissolves in a liquid completely, the substance is said to be soluble. It is its ability to dissolve is called solubility. Soluble solids include sugar, salt, and the glucose. Pupils, now we move to ways of increasing solubility of solute. Ways of increasing solubility of solute are as follows. Number one, we have stirring or shaking the mixture. Stirring, for example, you put sugar in water, you have to stir it properly, 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 or you shake, you shake, you shake, so that it mixes well. Two, increasing the temperature of the solvent by heating. When we talk of heating, you need a source of heat. So you heat, then the solubility increases of a solute. Three, crushing the particles to smaller sizes. Crushing the particles to smaller sizes. Lastly, it is increasing the quantity of the solvent. Increasing the quantity of the solvent. 
mixing liquids mixing liquids liquids start mix completely to form a uniform solution are known as miscible liquids i repeat liquids start mix completely to form a uniform solution are known as miscible liquids the solution formed is said to be homogeneous the solution formed is said to be homogeneous example of such liquids are water and milk pupils if you mix water and milk they will form a uniform solution so what the mixture of water and the milk is homogeneous another one is kerosene plus petrol kerosene kerosene plus petrol forms a homogeneous liquid liquids that do not mix at all are known as immiscible liquids liquids that do not mix are known as immiscible liquids they form layers pupils such liquids that form layers are as follows kerosene plus water it forms two layers the first layer is that one of kerosene the second layer is that one of water pupils liquid start do not mix i've said at all are known as miscible liquids they form layers such liquids are said to be forming heterogeneous solutions examples of immiscible liquids that form heterogeneous solutions are water and the kerosene they form two layer that one of water and that one of uh, kerosene milk and the oil they form two layers so that is heterogeneous ink plus petrol they form two layers those are what we call heterogeneous meaning they don't mix even if you shake as much as you can they will never mix they are apart pupils any liquid that mixes with water cannot mix with any petroleum product because of difference in their densities i repeat any liquid that mixes with water cannot mix with any petroleum product because of difference in their densities pupils up to that point we have come to the end of our science lesson i urge you to listen to the clip properly you take the notes until next lesson inshallah when we are going to talk about ways of separating mixtures that is probably next to on friday when we will have science lesson and inshallah we're gonna have a zoom lesson i wish you a good day assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh